Hey folks, how's it going? Let's make Mambo's house from Banjo-Kazooie. Just like any other building, this project started by setting up the foundation and rough framing for the house. I did this by layering some foam I had lying around until I got roughly the shape that I was looking for. Since Mumbo's house is basically just his face, I had to cut out where his mouth was going to be. After I assembled the layers I had made, uh, I realized that my shaping for the skull was quite a bit off from what it should have been, so I took my hobby knife and just carved it until it was more accurate to what I wanted. And then similar to before, once I had the shape I wanted, I carved in more of his features. With the rough framing done, I took some sculpt mold and covered the entire frame with it. sculpt mold was nice for this because it helped me fine-tune the shape a bit more to what I really wanted, while also giving more of a rocky texture that Mumbo Skull has anyway. My initial layer of sculpt mold needed a bit of fine tuning also, so I took my carving tools, reshaped everything a bit, and then applied a layer again. Once the base was done, I covered everything in a mixture of black paint and Mod Podge to give it both a layer of protection, but also to help me with some of the, the carving that you're about to see later. To create Mumbo's chimney, I took some of these saxophones from the dollar store and cut them up a bit to get the parts that I wanted. To help with gluing everything together, it helps to sand the plastic a bit. The cap of the chimney I made by taking out some pieces of this egg carton I had lying around. I filled it with some Mod Podge just to give it a bit more rigidity and strength. And then glued it to Mama's house.
I wanted to give the chimney a bit more of a metallic rusty texture, so I covered the whole thing in a layer of modeling paste and then stippled a bit of it off. And with the chimney finally done, it was time to get to carving. Mumbo's skull is made up of various stone sizes and shapes, so I found it easiest just to take this sculpting tool and carve in the individual stones. I then covered everything in a layer of black paint Mod Podge once again so that I could get it ready for painting. I started by giving everything a base coat of green to avoid painting the crevices later, and then started to individually paint each stone, one at a time, forever. I started with an off-white base for these stones, since it'll help the orange and yellow paints that I use later come through easier. With the base paint done, I started covering everything in orange and then yellow without worrying too much about getting full coverage. This would help me get a bit of a diversity of coloring in the stone. The entranceway to Mumbo's house is kind of creepily red, um, so I put that color in. And then darkened the nostrils and back of the mouth a bit. I gave the chimney a coat of a mixture of black and silver paint to give it a metallic look. Only thing missing now are the feathers in Mumbo's cap. I stuck in three needle pins to help give the feathers a bit more strength to stand up. I wanted to make the chimney a bit more rusty, so I threw on a bit of pigment powder I made out of pastels. And after adding one final detail, I decided I was done.